Hello, and welcome to TPM's 4-Minute Friday. My name is Dan Warren, and I'm an application engineer here at TPM. In today's workflow, we're going to bring in a model from Formit into Revit, and that's going to allow us to generate all of our floor plates for our buildings using the Floor by Face tool. So here I am in Formit, and you can see uh, I've got this building shape that I have generated. Um, nothing super fancy here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this building is set up so that the levels come across so I don't have to regenerate my levels in Revit. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to my levels tab and I've got a couple levels generated already. Levels 1 through 10 so I'm going to add a couple more. So we got 20 levels here and what I need to do is I need to apply these levels to this building shape. So I'm going to jump up here to my properties tab and from my properties tab I'm going to pick the building and this is actually multiple groups put together into one group but as long as I have them all generated into one group I can just pick this one group and then click on the use levels button and then you can see it applies and calculates my square footage for all my levels through my building and I could tell that the building has had levels applied to it because I can see these blue lines that intersect the building at each of the levels. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and save this locally. I'm going to just go ahead and crash my desktop real quick. There we go. And now I'm ready to go into Revit. All right, so in Revit, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new blank document. I just use my general architectural template. And from here, I'm going to jump to a south elevation view. And we want the levels to line up, but the only level right now that's consistent between my template and the format file is this level one. So I'm going to delete all the other levels and their views. That way, I don't have to go through and clean up my levels after the fact. So now I'm going to come up here to my add-ins tab. I'm going to use the Format 360 Converter drop-down to use the Import Format 360 to RVT tool. And then I'm going to pull in that file that I saved locally from Format. And Revit's going to do some thinking. And you can see, now that Revit's done thinking, you can see that the building has been brought in. So I have my shape here. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean up my levels so that they're nice and neat and organized. And now that I've done that, I'm going to generate a floor plan view for all of my levels for my building. Go to view, floor plan, and I'm going to select all the floors that came in. And you can see right there, Revit generated all my floor plan views for my building. Now I can't see them right now because they're uh, just a mass and by default massing objects are turned off in floor plan views. So I'm going to go back down to my south elevation and now I'm going to use the floor by face tool and I come in here and I'm going to pick each of the floors at the level lines here. And for now, I'm just going to use the generic 12-inch floor, create floors, and boom, I'm done. So now, if I go to my 3D view, and I turn off massing objects with my visibility graphics, you can see it looks like I may have missed one there, but there's all my floor plates for my building. And if I go to my floor plans, there's my floor plate for my floor plan. So that way I can create my floor plans directly from my format conceptual design model. Well, I certainly hope that this has been a helpful video for you. Hope it maybe gave you some ideas. If you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And once again, my name is Dan Warren. I want to thank you for joining me today for TPM's 4-Minute Friday. Thank you.